Hi, how did your counting go? This is how mine went. So I wrote the will and I wrote my numbers. And then my favorite weather is kind of when it's stormy and sunny at the same time and I see a rainbow. So that was my favorite weather. And I got a check because I did it all correctly. I hope you got a check too. I hope you took your time. I'm not gonna show you the bunny sheet because I think you can do that. I hope you took your time and stayed inside the lines of the maze. So now, remember, tell mommy not to listen right now because we're gonna practice singing these songs so our brain remembers it. So let's do the Pussy Willow song first. I have a little pussy, I need you to sing with me. Her coat is silver gray. She lives in the meadow, not so far away. She'll always be a pussy. She'll never be a cat, cause she's a pussy willow. Now what do you think of that? Meow, 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 scat, cat. And here's our cherry blossom. The cold winter has passed and now comes spring. The newly hatched baby birds cause mother bird to sing. The warm sun comes out, little cherry blossoms are in bloom. Beautiful blossoms will open and smell of sweet perfume. And perfume smells so pretty. This is our April Fool's one. Oh, I looked out the window and what did I see? Popcorn popping on my apricot tree. It wasn't really, oh, spring had brought me such a nice surprise. Popcorn popping right before my eyes. I can take an armful and make a treat. A popcorn ball that would smell so sweet. It wasn't really so, but it seemed to be popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Did you taste an apricot yet? Did you get apricot jam? Did you like it? You should ask. Okay, now this one. For Scythia. One morning, I'm gonna say it slowly so you can say it with me. One morning, they unexpectedly burst into bloom and sprout it gold, like the leprechaun's gold. April used her magic touch and turned a gray day into a surprise celebration for spring. Do you know when it's your birthday we celebrate that? That's called a celebration. So this is celebrating spring. Now, I've got a story about a giant. Can you believe we're reading a story about a giant when we're doing planting week? It's one of my favorite stories and it's called My Backyard Giant. So a little friend gave me this book way back in 1994. I've had it a long time. My Backyard Giant. Did you say giant? A real giant? Not pretend an actual giant lives in your backyard? Yep. What does he look like? Mm. So, well, let's see. So he's going to describe him. He has a big, yellow, bumpy face with pointy things sticking out all over his head. And so he's imagining what his face looks like. Pointy things? Yep. And he's taller than my fence. So there he is, he's taller than the fence. That's very tall. He has really big arms. They're rough and green. Look at how rough they are. Oh, they're very rough. So this is what he's imagining. He's using his words to describe, and he's imagining. It's like a dream. He's dreaming about it. He's thinking. So now he says, and he has one long, strong, skinny leg. So here he is imagining this giant with one long, long, 
strong, skinny leg. Aren't you afraid to go in your backyard? Afraid? Oh no, he's a very nice giant. He lets birds sit on his head and squirrels climb all over him. Now this is my favorite bird. Does anyone know what that's called? It's called a cardinal. I've always loved cardinals. I think it's the red. And do you know what these are? Those are the blue jays. And there's the squirrels. And I think that's a little chickadee. Chickadee dee dee dee. He doesn't mind the squirrels, I mean. Tickles him, I expect. Would you like squirrels tickling you? <laughs> tickle, tickle. He's so nice that one day when it started to rain, I stood real close to him and he kept me dry with his big green arms. Oh, that is so nice. So he's, a, he's saying it and he's imagining, oh, that's how he kept you dry. Is he back there right now, the giant? Nope. Now that summer is over, it's too cold for him out back. I took him into my room to keep him warm. In your room? He thinks he's, why would you put a giant in your room? Yep, in my room. He didn't want to come in. I had to drag him. He was really stubborn too. You know how stubborn giants can be, don't you? while he dug his toes into the ground and I really had to pull hard to get him to move. Boy, my mom sure would be mad at me if I dragged a yellow-faced, green-armed, one-legged giant into my room. He's imagining his mom saying, no way are you gonna have a giant in your room. Well, my mom wasn't thrilled either. But when I told her about the time he kept me dry in the rain, well, she softened up a bit. So he's in your room right now? The giant is in your room? Yep. Could I, could I see him? Sure, follow me. That's your giant? Your yellow-faced, green-armed, one-legged, taller than a fence giant? That's a sunflower. Sure is. What did you expect? So he's talking about his giant sunflower, isn't he? So he was describing it perfectly, but this boy was imagining this. And that's our story. So what do you think we're gonna grow today? We're gonna grow sunflowers. And I love, so look, this is really what sunflowers look like. And when you have fields of sunflower people, they go, artists will come and take their pictures. Do you know, a long time ago, Mr. Fur and I, we went on a trip, a far away trip to Europe, and we saw fields and fields and fields full of beautiful sunflowers. It was so pretty to see, so, so pretty. And the sunflowers, they're amazing. They follow the sun. So wherever the sun is facing, that's where the flower faces. So they kind of move throughout the day. It's really cool to watch. So I hope you, um, I really hope you got sunflowers because they're so neat to grow. And what's really incredible about growing sunflowers, and I encourage you all to do this, is measure your child with a sunflower because the sunflower will grow taller than your child. And it makes a really cool picture. If you look at the building block site, there's sunflowers on the, on the uh, Facebook site. There's sunflowers. Those are from my garden years ago when we grew some sunflowers and they were so pretty and so spectacular. I took their picture and then I thought, oh, that would be nice for the cover for building blocks. So there they are. And they were taller than me. They're fun to grow. Look, people go and have picnics by the sunflower fields. And the cool thing about sunflowers is then it's in here are all the seeds when they're finished and that's food for the birds. They're really fun to watch. Okay, so let's go over and um, see what we're doing for the sunflowers today. Okay, so for 
first of all, I have to get out my seed. Now you're going to be amazed at a sunflower seed. Do you remember the marigold yesterday was colored? Well, so is a sunflower seed. Sunflowers have little stripes on them. So if you notice, they're almost the same shape as a um, pumpkin seed. Just they have a point at one end, but not at the other end. But they've got stripes. Not cool the stripes. So let's um, write sunflower. So sun. S a. N. Flower. Fa. L. Now this ow. Ow also looks like this. This also says ow. La, ow, and then er. Remember our er sound? Er. On Thursday, I planted a sunflower seed. So let's go like this. I gave mommy and daddy this sheet. So there's our sunflower. Can we draw it? Can we try and draw it? It's almost even like a little tiny heart, isn't it? And then you just draw the lines like this, the stripes. Okay, there. So today, this is why I said uh, if you have an empty milk cart, I'm just trying to use reuse, reduce, recycle. So this is another um, thing you could very much easily start sunflowers in. So I'm going to put my soil in first. instructions. One quarter to half an inch tea for and eight three to four inches apart. Okay so I'm just going to get my little uh, poker again. Oh here it is under here. Here's my poker. And I'm going to poke, poke, so if you have more than one egg carton or one more than one um, milk carton, you can, you've obviously got a whole thing of seeds like I do. Again, normally we would provide the seeds, but one, two, I'm gonna put this in three, four, they're probably too close together, but I'll separate them as they come up. And obviously, again, once they come up and the um, danger of frost is over, then you transplant them outside. And honestly, they're so much fun to grow and um, measure your children against. You'll be amazed how fast they grow. So I'm just going to put my sign on here. I've got my little things from the dollar store. So we're going to write sunflower. I can also remember because each day I put my container in a different... Um, and then what else do I need? Do I need water? I need water to put in here. And that's it. I hope you had a good day. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your math. And tomorrow's Friday, so we're not having math on Friday this week because we had to do our weather chart. So I will see you tomorrow for more Word Family Building and the last thing to grow. All right, bye.